Did you know you can easily change the color of anything in Lightroom Classic without making any selections? In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change colors and avoid a lot of the common pitfalls. And I just released a brand new Lightroom course. I'll tell you more about that later and also how you can get a discount on it. So we're going to go to the develop module and then we're going to go to the masks panel and grab a brush. Now we want to paint inside of this dress. Normally you would turn on auto mask so it constrains within the edges. But the problem with this is, see how there's some areas it just doesn't pick up very easily because of the variance in the shadows. So what I like to do is turn the auto mask off and just paint, and then we'll go back and we'll fix it later. This way we can get in all the nooks and crannies. By the way, if it's hard to see this red, we can click on the color and change it to anything we want. Let's change it to a yellow and turn the opacity up. And once you've fully selected that dress, now we're going to clean up the edges. Hold down the Alt or the Option key, and this will change us from the brush to the erase. And make sure Auto Mask is turned on in the erase, and then we can go around the edges and clean it up and get a beautiful crisp edge. The right bracket key will make it bigger. And just make sure that crosshair stays on the color that you want to get rid of and never goes into the color of the dress. Left bracket key makes it smaller, so we can get into those little tight areas. And now you might have gone over in a couple of places, no big deal. Take your hand off the Auto Option key, turn on Auto Mask now, and we can just clean up these little final edges. Once we've made our mask, it's time to change the color. Just scroll down, see where you see Hue. Now we can change the color just by sliding the Hue to anything we want. Now there's two other settings we have. If we want to make it brighter, turn the exposure up. Or we can turn it down to make it darker. And also we can take the saturation. For less saturation, take it to the left. More saturation, take it to the right. So between these settings, you can dial in pretty much any color you want. Now, if you want to change the background, just create a new mask, grab the brush, Let's make it nice and big, right bracket key, and then just quickly paint. Let's select the whole background. And you can see as long as you keep those crosshairs out, you can even use a really large brush, but just don't put the crosshairs inside the colors that we want to keep. And now we can change the color of the background the same way. So this is just a little taste of some of the kind of things you're going to learn off my brand new Lightroom course that I released this morning. It's over 140 lessons that are broken into bite-sized pieces. So you can either as an absolute beginner learn Lightroom, just start from the beginning, go all the way through the end and pretty much no stone is unturned. Or if you want, you can use it as a reference. It comes with a PDF index so you can just go to the lesson and learn what you need when you need it. I'm going to give you guys 20% off for a limited time. The code is underneath in the description. All right. So let me know, did you learn anything new in this tutorial? Was it useful? Let me know in the comments. And also, if you got any value of it, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my tutorials. Until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.